Nairobi has universities as indeed Kampala, as indeed South Africa, Johannesburg. We have all these universities. We have engineers. But our roads are not being made by Tanzanian civil engineers. It is the Chinese who are present in this assembly who are making our roads. So we have engineers who cannot even make roads. We have doctors whom we have trained. But when we are sick, particularly if we are of the political class, depending on who colonized you, if you are colonized by the United Kingdom, you rush to London. If you are colonized by the French, you rush to Paris. If you are colonized by the Portuguese, you rush to Lisbon. And if you are colonized by the Spaniards, you rush to Madrid, Spain. And recently, because the Asians are beginning to get their up together, we run to India. And very lately, because the Arabs are also beginning to get their up together, we run to Dubai. Notwithstanding that we have the Kenyatta hostels of this country, the Muhimbilis of Tanzania, the Chris Hani Baragwanaths of South Africa, we and the Mama Yemos of Kinshasa in Zaire or the Democratic Republic of Congo, but we have no faith in our doctors. In the area of education, we also don't have faith. Our political class introduced something that they call free education, but it's free indeed, free of knowledge. Because they are so suspicious of those institutions that the typical African politician would not dare take their children to those schools. Their children will be educated in, in the British system, in the American system, so that when they graduate, they go to the United Kingdom, to the United States. Not that there is anything wrong with those institutions, but the agenda is wrong because our leaders long lost the script and ought to be described for who they are, our misleaders. But we are co-authors of our own misfortune. Whenever we are given an opportunity to elect our leaders, we are given a blank check. And if you permit me a little latitude, and if you give me a blank check, and you allow me to analogize, and you say that I'm given the blank check to buy a Mercedes-Benz, what we do is that when we are called upon, having been so empowered, we buy what one calls a tuk-tuk from India and expect it to behave like a Mercedes-Benz. How does that happen? Because what we do is to elect thieves. We elect hyenas to take care of goats, and when the goats are consumed, we wonder why. <laughs>